we can apply lighting as an active part of treatment and recovery of both patients and elderly. Last year we showed you a new lighting design based on our circadian rhythms that helped improve people's mental well-being. Now Danish company Chromaviso has come up with a new lighting system that can be used in operating theatres. It not only enhances the images surgeons see on screen, it also improves the energy levels of clinical staff. But before you settle in and watch, I should warn you that if you get squeamish when you see blood, there are a lot of close-ups of surgeries in this film. Torben Hansen is the Chief Technical Officer at Chromaviso. Razor visited Denmark in 2019 to see how their circadian lighting design, which is aligned with our natural sleep-wake cycle, is changing lives for the better in rest homes and helping patients recover in intensive care wards. We found that the patient that was admitted under the circadian light was uh, less depressive, there was uh, uh, reduced fatigue and uh, increased well-being. Gosh and actually also uh, reduce anxiety. If we find out how the residents liking the light. Inga, can you remember how you felt before with the lights? But then probably I get the light. Yeah, it's probably, I think it's good. Yeah. There's no clay over. But then it's humor, it's better. Yeah, my humor is good enough. She is very happy for the lights. She is always in, in a good mood. Now Chromaviso has designed and tested a new ergonomic lighting system for hospital surgeries. So in general, whenever you talk about ergonomic features, it's about enhancing the work environment, enhancing improving performance at the same time as improving quality and safety. So how is this lighting system different from the ones we saw in the rest home? Well, basically, you know, under the hood, it's still pretty much the same bits and pieces. We still here, we also use six different types of LEDs in order to be able to construct whatever kind of color and, and spectral composition. But the, the big difference here is actually in the programming of the luminaire. With ergonomic lighting, we make colored lighting as the general lighting in these operating theaters. Whereas the previous concept that you saw in the nursing homes, that was mainly different colors of, or different shades of white that we applied there, and not in order to improve work conditions, but that was basically to improve fundamental health conditions there. Well, Emma, let me take you to the showroom where we have a setup. Torben turns tour guide to lead me through the workshop so we can see the light's different settings that can be changed at each step of a surgery. Okay, so this is the particular luminaire that we use in, in the operating theatres. And, and when we should receive a patient, the light is typically dimmed to a warm and welcoming white light. But the most interesting and impactful lights are the green behind the screens and the red behind the surgeons. Red and green are used for a number of reasons, but most importantly because they are complementary colours, meaning they are on opposite sides of the colour wheel. If you look at these squares, red and green enhance each other, while red and pink together makes it harder for the eye to focus. In an operating theatre, green behind the screens amplifies the contrast of the reddish tones of the images, which enhances the images on screen and makes it easier for the surgical team to focus for long periods of time. So when we have a monitor showing an image of a patient's operating wound, Obviously that is reddish colors because it images the blood and the organs and flesh. And if you want to enhance contrast and enhance the ability to see that image, you should actually paint the surroundings with the complementary color of those reddish nuances. The effect complementary colours have on each other is like an optical illusion. Hundreds of years ago, tapestry makers only had limited amounts of colours and used this to great effect. Two colours will appear different depending on what colours used and what they're placed next to. This effect is called simultaneous contrast and is more intense with complementary colours. The surgeon doing this keyhole surgery, they try to recreate the understanding of a 3D environment inside the patient based on that 2D screen image. So it is visually, it's very, very 
uh, demanding for them to do it and to do it for hours and hours throughout the day. So optimizing on the visual acuity is, is a huge benefit. So your eyes and your brain are not having to work as hard as they might have done in an old surgery where there was lots of white light. Exactly. It's a very complex work environment they have there and everything that can help them is a huge benefit. Having the red light behind the surgeon, which is the same colour spectrum as the images on screen, also reduces reflections. And there's yet another benefit. If you have a room which is monotone, which is green in, in the whole room, that's not a nice place to stay in for the supporting staff. But if you have the complementary colours represented with green in one side and red in the other side, you build up a balance and you build up a harmony in the room. Dr. Jesper Adurup, a consulting surgeon at Odense University Hospital, advised the Chromoviso team on what was needed in surgery and has been testing the lights from the beginning. So what do you and your colleagues think of the new lighting? The overall feeling that, that this is here to stay, and we have actually used it every day since we started in 2005. So, so we cannot do without it uh, now. And uh, if, uh, if we turn the light uh, up, the white light up, or if we forget to close it down during the operation, for instance, they will go only a very few minutes before everybody is shouting that we have to change the light to another setting. To work in the correct light, you are more relaxed, your shoulders getting down, and you are more, more relaxed in the, in the right uh, uh, light conditions. Chromaviso surveyed 330 users of ergonomic lighting at 30 hospitals in Scandinavia. 89% said the visual conditions were improved for all job functions. 65% weren't as tired, which rose to 85% among surgeons. 75% felt their concentration improved, surgeons even more so. And 68% felt the ergonomic lighting increased safety. The lights are all operated by a computer program and can be changed from a touch screen. There's even a calming light setting for the patient. This is the typical use of interface used in, in an operating theatre. Um, as you see now, the light is, is in preparation and, and I can press the button here to, to change it to patient uh, arrival. The good thing about this also is that it's very flexible and, and we can really customise both the procedures, the naming, the icons, everything, the lighting design in each individual luminaire in, in the complete operating theatre to a specific clinical procedure and even to a, a specific clinical team as well. Every one of the surgical team's needs are catered for. What was important uh, when we uh, built up the lighting in the new operating rooms was that uh, there's different activities going on in the operating room and each activity should have their own lighting. We actually think that uh, it is uh, more safe to do the operations because you are less stressed and can concentrate on what you are seeing on the monitors inside the patients and not concentrate about reflections and uh, ignoring uh, things uh, around uh, in the room. The system can also be integrated into the electronic equipment so that when a specific machine is used, the lights will respond accordingly. Torben, it seems you're slowly changing all the lighting systems throughout the hospitals. I mean, we had the intensive care units, now we're in the operating theatres, what's next? We see two roads map, maps ahead of us. One of them is to further develop even more specific lighting protocols for specific diagnoses such that we can apply lighting as an active part of treatment and recovery of both patients and elderly. And the other is to, to make it available to a larger group of people, maybe an elderly with a light dementia or a psychiatric patient. We can help them stay at home and stay as fresh as all, at all possible if we optimise on beneficial lighting patterns for them. Lighting is something we all take for granted. It's incredible to think that improving our work and well-being could be so easily done with just the push of a button. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and hit the bell button below for notifications. We'll see you next time.